As you can see, we are at Fletcher Arms. I'm gonna go shooting and I'm gonna take you with me. I never get to take you shooting with me. And I have the Springfield Loaded Operator. So I hope you brought your Ear Pro and Eye Pro. Let's have a little fun. I'll do a full review too, but right now I just wanna plink with you. Come with me. Thanks. Come on. While you were getting your ears and eyes on, I got us all set up. So the lane's all ready. Like, we can just go shoot now. I'll even get to the door. So this is the loaded operator. You've seen it before. I did a video of it a little while back, but this is the full review process. I thought it would be fun though to include you in the full review. I hope you don't mind though if I shoot it first. There we go. Stout spring on that. Oh, comes with two magazines, and I've done some work with Springfield actually for the last, what is it, three years, four? I've seen them at every SHOT Show I've been to, and I've absolutely loved hanging out with them, getting the opportunity to meet and shoot um, in front of Rob Latham, and I've been working with Chad and Debbie for the past few years, and they're lovely people. And after this SHOT Show, I, I shot a bunch of different gun sets at shot as I usually do, but this particular one really just, I don't know, I got excited about it. So I asked if uh, I could get my hands on one for test and email, and being the lovely people that they are, Chad and Debbie sent me one to try out, and I've gotten a few rounds through it, but not enough for me to do the full review, so I thought that maybe you and I could trade off and put a few more through it. What I have right now is this mixed bag of ammo because so far I've been shooting mostly federal uh, target ammo through it and it's done really well with that. I haven't had any hiccups so far. I have probably 250 or so rounds through it at this point. This mixed bag is just whatever 45 was in the bottom of my range bag basically. So I have like some Remington, some PMC, there might be some Blazer in there. Oh, there's some Cellier, Cellier and Bello 45. So, we'll see how it does. Let's throw up a target. Is it okay if I start? All right, let's push it back a little bit. Mm, I'm thinking maybe about 30 feet. That looks pretty good, right? You want me to bring it a little closer for you? Maybe 20. I mean, this isn't an accuracy test. It's a test to see. Well, we're gonna just try it out. And if we have time and ammo, we can always push it back further for funsies. Okay. Eight round magazine, I love that. If the target would quit wiggling, Okay, so you can see how I started out a little rusty, haven't picked it up in a little while, but as I start getting the feel for it, I warm up and I bring it in. I know the gun can do more though, so let's push a little bit more from it. That little guy? I wouldn't worry about that little guy down there. It's okay, I wore responsible heels today. They're only like two inches, it's not a big deal. Okay, I uh, have a couple of different magazines that I brought just to try them out and because I happen to have a lot of 45 magazines because I kind of like shooting 1911s. Oops. 
Most of them are Metgar. That seems to be what I, I gra to which I gravitate toward. Gravitate toward. There we go. These are the stock mags. Uh, Kim Pro Tech Mag. This is like actually, this is the first magazine I ever bought for 1911. I bought it for my Kimber, but it works just as well in the loaded operator. And then I just have some more Metgars here. And I've run it fine with all of them, but it just gives us a little more playtime. Now the fun part. One more real quick. That was really fun. This is a heavy gun. I think that helps to soak up some of that perceived recoil. And that you've got a five inch barrel. Very nice. You should be able to really get some accuracy out of it, which it's not a great demonstration just shooting at 20 yards or 20 feet. The shooting short range like this is not really a great demonstration of how accurate it can be. But ooh, is it fun. That and you can, maybe you can watch this a little bit to see how bad the recoil is. It's really not, not that bad. And being a single stack, that's why I gravitated toward 1911s when I, really, when I first started shooting. I like that it's a little bit narrow over a grip. We'll see how well I do with it. Before we put that next mag through, let's uh, take a look at the target. Okay, not too bad. So this is just more rapid fire. I was doing a little bit of double tapping. What I like to do when I'm um, practicing shooting quickly is I'll light up my sights and take the shot, bam, just as soon as, bam, the, the sights line up again. So it, is it precision shooting? No, but I, I wouldn't complain about the groupings. If it were a self-defense scenario, I think I'd feel okay. This one looks a little ate up though. Okay, let's get another target up there. Did you want to turn? Because you're not getting one. Okay, I will let you shoot. I just really like it. So I want to put another couple mags through. You don't mind, do you? I promise I, bought, I brought plenty of ammo, you'll still get a turn. Just, you know, when I'm ready. Which, if in girl terms, my five more minutes, you might be here a while. I pulled a shot because I started getting excited, but I really want to show you my target. Yee! By the way, thank you for coming with me. This has been really fun. We've only just started. Yay! I did it! That's not too bad. I have another one of those flyers. Don't worry about that little guy. These ones. We'll just ignore him, pretend he's not there. I'm gonna do one more. One more, Meg, please. I'm left eye dominant, so I should probably try shooting left hand. Dude, you are so much taller than me. You could like shoot, you could watch like right over my head. All right, well, watch me shoot left handed.
embarrassed. Okay, I'm a little embarrassed. I'm a little embarrassed of these guys. But it was fun. Did she get shorter? Okay. Anyway, I know you haven't had a chance to shoot yet, but please, can I just do a little bit of rapid fire? Just a little bit. A little rapid fire never hurt. Thank you. That's fun. Might have to do a little bit more of that. And that is why I fell in love with the 45. So if you're having as much fun as I am with this video and you want to see more of my videos, feel free to subscribe. You'll get an update every time I produce a new video. And if you're interested in getting prints, I have prints for sale at bit dot lee slash f o d picks the gallery is private though the password is a secret but i trust you the password is destiny okay okay you were so patient and i did have a lot of fun and i did say i wanted to take you shooting with me so there you go you're not getting one. A little rapid fire never hurt. And that is why I fell in love with the 45.